Hello Year 2, this is Friday's math lesson. Now, if you didn't complete yesterday's math lesson, so Thursday's math lesson, the 14th, please make sure you watch and listen to that before you do this one, because this is a continuation. So we are going to be continuing with our flow four, which is written subtraction. Here's the vocabulary for you on the screen. And like always, if you're not sure on any, please let me and Mrs. Meehan know. OK, our key questions. So what is written subtraction? Hopefully by now, everyone that listened to yesterday's math lesson will be able to tell us what written subtraction is and tell us how you solve 66 subtract 23. Now, today we're going to focus on finding the difference in our rich and complex activity. So I'm just going to quickly go over the strategy for our written subtraction when we subtract a two digit number from a two digit number. So yesterday, lots of us did really, really well with our subtraction, but there are a few questions that were very, very tricky. And these questions were where we have to cross 10 when we subtract, where we don't have enough ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm just to go through again how to answer one of those questions. So as you can see on the screen, I have a subtraction sum. I have a two digit number. 63 subtract a two digit number 25 so 63 subtract 25 now when i'm subtracting remember we draw our tens and ones for the number we are subtracting from so our first number here so that's why i have drawn six tens and three ones and i do not need to draw out 25 or anything to do with my 25 okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my ones. And this is where it's really important. We start with our ones. Now, I have three ones, but my number sentence, my question is asking me to subtract five ones. Well, I can't do that. So what I have to do is I have to use one of my tens. So I'm going to take one ten over there put it with my ones and I now have 13 ones subtract five. But to make it easier, I'm going to get rid of my lines, my 10, and I'm going to represent it with dots. Okay, so I need to now make 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? So I have 13 dots. Now I can do my subtraction with my ones. So I have 13 dots and I want to subtract five. So I'm going to cross out five. So one, two, three, four, five. When you're crossing them out, make sure it's really evident which ones you have crossed out. Okay, now I need to count up how many ones I have got left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have eight ones left. I'm going to do now do my tens. So I've got, I did have six tens, but I had to take one of these tens and put it in the ones. So I'm now left with five tens and I need to subtract two from there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out two tens. So one, two, there we go. I don't need to cross out anymore because it's only asking me to subtract two tens. And what I need to do now is I need to count up what I've got left. So I've got one, two, three tens, which is 30. And I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ones. So my answer is 38. 
okay? What I would like you to do today is you've got three challenges to do. You've got a probing question, a further extension, and a rich and complex. And I'm going to go through them now for you. So your probing question says, always, sometimes, or never, a two-digit number subtract a two-digit number always gives you an answer of a two-digit number, okay? So what this means is, when you do your subtracting from a two-digit number and a two-digit number, is your answer always a two-digit number? Now, if you look back at some of your answers from yesterday, you'll be able to help yourself with this one. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to have a go at doing a couple of sums. Do they all end in a two-digit number when you are subtracting. Okay, so show me your thinking behind this answer and let me know what sums you did to help you solve this. So you need to tell me whether it's always, sometimes and never. Please make sure you aren't just guessing and you're having a go at trying to answer these questions. Your further extension. It says, find the greatest whole number you can to complete these number sentences. Now we've got our greater, less than and equal to signs here. So we need to try and remember what they look like. So we need to complete it. 53 subtract 18 is greater than 15 add something. Okay. So what you need to do, you need to work out what does this answer, and then whatever the answer is, this sum has got to be less than this answer, okay? Because the crocodile mouth is pointing to this answer, which means it's greater than. The next one, 38, add 14, so work that out, and then you've got is less than 70 subtract a number. So 38 add 14 is less than 70 subtract something. So this answer needs to be smaller, sorry, bigger than that answer. The next one, 62 subtract 28 is equal to 24 add something. So I'm going to let you have a guess here. What do you think both of these need to answer. And then your rich and complex task, your rich task is looking at the differences. So it says this challenge is about finding the difference between numbers which have been, which have the same tens digits. So they all have the same amount of tens. Here are two examples where I have decided to use numbers which have two tens. Okay, so in their twenties. The number above is always the difference between the two beneath it. So 24 and 21, the difference between those two numbers is three. 22 and 29, the difference between those two numbers is seven. So 29 subtract 22 is seven and 24 subtract 21 is three. It says, can you find different pairs of numbers with a difference of one or two or three or four and so on? And can you find more than one way of doing this? So what I would suggest you do is I would suggest you use the same tens for one, same tens for another, okay? And then swap out your tens each time you're going and finding the difference between, okay? And when you finish that, if you want to have a go, I've left the game up on here because lots of children enjoyed playing this yesterday. Don't forget, when you're done and you've completed all of the three challenges, please make sure you are sharing it on Class Dojo so we can see how well you have done.